Flowers still hang on the 17th Street Bridge, reminding bikers of the risks of riding in a bike lane just inches from a busy road. It was just, it shouldn't have ever happened. It's the spot where 16-year-old Cole Coppola lost his life when an alleged drunk driver crossed into the bike lane. There was nothing to stop the car from hitting him. You know, everybody says, why don't they do something about it? Why keep thinking it? Shannon Holzman heard Cole's story and decided she would do something, hoping to protect other bikers and pedestrians in the future. It just, it really should have not been left this long. Holzman creating a change.org petition calling on the city to build concrete barriers on the bridge between the street and the bike lane. Vero Beach's Merrill Barber Bridge is an example of what she hopes could be incorporated at the 17th Street Bridge. And that way they feel like losing Cole and his death was noticed and the action was taken. But according to our news partners at TC Palm, the Department of Transportation says the bridge may not be wide enough to add the barriers. And I know they say there's not a whole lot of room to make it happen, but they, they need to figure out a way to make it happen. If barriers aren't possible, Holzman says she won't be discouraged, but press the city to find something safer. Well, make something work. Something has to work.